TV down at uh, Oldham uh, Personal Development Centre, or Oldham ABC we should say, with uh, Steve Deakin, who's uh, an Oldham boy, but who's uh, emigrated over to Australia and uh, dragged all these boys over here to do a bit of sparring. Uh, yeah, um, I was lucky enough to uh, know a few people in the boxing game uh, before I went uh, moved over there, and uh, Sean Whitehead, who's affiliated with Oldham Boxing. Um, we, the, the head coach, Joe Keegan, uh, was asking about development for some of these boys and uh, he said, is there any chance that we can find some gyms to come over and, and spar with probably? Who I think are the best at the moment, or the best region in, in the North West. Um, I said certainly, made a few phone calls and um, we're making it happen. Yeah, I mean, I've just been filming this, it's been hectic, everyone's in and out of the ring and all that. And uh, it's been a, a bit of joy to watch. But uh, Sam Overy, Sam Goodwin, you uh, is it a bronze medal in the yeah. World Youth Championships? Yep. Should be a silver. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to represent my country in uh, Russia. So um, I went over there in November 2016 and um, got a bronze medal for my country. And, and this is something that you're looking to further now because the, the uh, you've just moved into the League Championships now yeah. and the World Championships, uh, when they're, how far away are them? Uh, I've got um, nationals in April, 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 um, April next year, uh, this year. So um, and that's in Australia. Yeah, yeah I've got, that's in Australia, and then uh, the winner out of that tournament goes to um, represent Australia at the World Championships in uh, Hamburg. Sam, what weight do you find then? Fifty six. Fifty six kilos. He's struggling to make fifty six yeah. with the English. Pies and everything at the moment. Hold them. Yeah. Hold them. Hold them. Sausage roll. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm, I'm, I'm in here. No, I'm here. I'm, no, I'm get in, Eric. Get in, Sam. Get in, Sam. Yeah, come in, in the middle. Come in, Sam. Come in. Come in, boy. Yeah. He's struggling with the uh, the, the sausage the, the sausage rolls <laughs> and the olden pies. He's struggling with. You know what I mean? And uh, this is something that's been happening, uh, this is a second or third time that you've been over there. Yeah. Yes. Came over in 2014, obviously the link here is Easy, Pommy, Aussie as we call him. Link with Australia and Oldham, yeah. uh, Steve, so he obviously made it all happen, told the guys, told the coaches in Australia that there was ample kind of sparring over here. This is here. the place to be. Yeah, so, this is the place uh, to be. Yeah. You know, came over 2014 and uh, we're only five, I mean, you came over, was it five years? Yeah, yeah, five. Yeah, five of them came over and, uh, you know, we were on the gyms. Well, when you links. first come over, Sam, there was another kid who's not here today, but we've spoken to him a few yeah, times, well, a young still, star, Will Crawley. Yeah, we'll, we'll, Will Carley. Well, sorry, we'll Will Carley. That. Will Carley. And uh, he's he's obviously yeah, good yeah, he's now. Yeah. He's, he said what he was going to do. He told me a year ago he was going to go out and win the uh, ABAs. And in his first year, in first senior fight, he goes out and does that. Yeah. And then he told me he's going to get in the GB squad and he wants to become number one. And he's achieved that now. Yeah, he's out in Colorado now, where uh, the podium potential or podium full podium squad training with the American team now. So. Uh, with a couple of conversations out there. Is he 52 kilos? 52 he? kilos. He's looking forward to coming back because they formed a bit of a bond yeah. together, these two. Uh, these two have gone on the rise together, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, if you look on, you know, there was some stuff in the paper about him. They went sparring the then time IBF world champion, Paul Butler. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. and you know, the both. Oh, were, Arnie's team would have Yeah, been. Arnie, that was, yeah. So they both acquitted themselves really well. Do you know what I mean? And, uh, you yeah, know, lo and behold, two years later, you know, both of them were on the, on the, on the peripherals. A bit of controversy with both of them. Both of them, we, we felt, should have been in their respective kind of uh, teams. But lo and behold, two years later, they're both arguably the number ones in their way, in their country. Bags full of medals all over the world, and uh, you know, you know, a joy to watch both of them. The spars we had then were really good, close and competitive. Uh, yeah, 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 and they were, yeah, yeah. They're, they're going to be, they're going to be the same again. So, but uh, we'll, Sam, you're, a, I mean, if no one's seen Will fight. He's uh, very hard to describe because he's 
Yeah, he's, he's, a bit, yeah he's, he's a bit of a one-off. But you're a bit more traditional though, aren't you? A bit more on the front foot fighting yeah, to come I'll, forward. Yeah, I like to press the action and, um, yeah, muck around and um, be the dominant fighter in there. <laughs> a bit, so you're a bit Jeff Fennick no, then? No, uh, not Jeff Fennick. I, I like to think I'm, I'm not a bum rusher or anything in the ring, but um, intelligent. I, I'm yeah, intelligent. Smart, smart pressure. Intelligent, smart intelligent, pressure. Exactly. intelligent, intelligent, intelligent pressure. I've watched him. So like I said before, he came down, you know, came there Saturday, got in the ring Sunday sparring, and had a really good spar with Akeem. Uh, Tyson from yeah, North yeah, side, really accomplished fighter. Uh, you know, obviously mixes with a lot of pros. And you can see that in his style, keep style. Uh, these two were kind of well, I think this is why a joy to watch. Box, it was. Yeah, I think this is why amateur boxing is in the, the, the place it's in because of how successful the professionals are now. Yeah, potentially, you know, yeah, potentially, yeah. I mean, the spa on Sunday was like people, you know. People were like, you know, what was going on in the pocket, little thing, little shots here, very intelligent, kind of, some really kind of old man stuff going on. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Steve, yeah. how much longer are you over here now then? Uh, well, we, we've come over for just over two weeks and we've probably got just over a week left. So we've hit the ground running. Eric's kept us busy, um, morning and night. So, like I said, <laughs> the boys aren't here for an holiday, they're here to. Yeah. to well, let it all hang out in the ring. Yeah, you know, so, as, as yeah. Saying, let it all before. Yeah. Right, well, I might be catching you up. You're going down to uh, Olive Harris's gym on yes. Friday? Yeah? Yes, um, my sister's good friends with Martin Murray's wife, and um, I just spoke to him just earlier on. Now, oh, <laughs> Ma Martin, Martin's done well for us as well, you know. He, yeah. you know obviously, fought for world titles and everything. And, yeah. You know, if these boys can be, get half. Well, there's no, a kid there is. that you want to move around with. He's going to be fighting on one of our shows on the 18th of February. He's called Mark Leach, Mark Leach yeah, and you'll good. like him. He, yeah, he yeah. was a very, very classy amateur kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's doing well in the pros now. Bantamweight, is he bantamweight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Be yeah. Ideal so it'll be a nice way for you. Ideal, ideal for you though. And hopefully I might come down and try and film a little bit around him. Well, beautiful. Sam, Steve, Eric. Thank you. Thank a real, you, real legend. pleasure. Cheers. I'll speak to you later, lads. Bye. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.